Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed on this terrific Thursday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same thing for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light and many blessings are yet to come. And if you can, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and drop me a few lines. I love to get positive feedback. And thank you for the love and support again. And if you are a returning sub, as always, love and light and many blessings to you. And namaste. And many blessings are yet to come. Sorry, guys, if I'm, you know, I'm scratching or whatever. I don't know why every time I start making videos, my nose wants to start itching. But anyways, today my video is about Twin Flame 101, the daily struggles of an empath and utilizing your uniqueness. Use, utilize, you, uh, utilize your uniqueness. It's like, try to say that about 10 times back to back to back. <laughs> But anyways, today I'm listening to beautiful Japanese music of bonsai uh, garden meditation. Um, it, it is just like, whew, so relaxing. It's like when you guys come to my channel, if this is your first time coming, it's like, you know, when you trying to get understanding to your life or trying to put meaning to the craziness and the wild things that, you know, you probably speak to somebody, they'll probably want to lock you up. You're trying to figure out what's going on with yourself or whatever. When you come to my channel, it's like I always try to play relaxing music, you know, just to have your mind clear from all the madness that you went through that day. That's, you know, that's what I do. That's the struggle of an empath, <laughs> you know, because I know the daily struggles because basically we're just so sensitive to almost pretty much everything, everything. That's why I just, you know, sometimes I see how, you know, my dad, he... You know, I, I noticed that he he would kind of feel uncomfortable, especially around millions of people, even though he did it a lot of times. It's like different when you're singing and you're performing and then when you actually have to talk. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, how do you do it? Well, how did he do it or whatever? But it's just like the struggles of an empath. It, it, it's just like a day by day basis. It's just like when 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 Christmas came and everything, it was just like, I was going to, I was crying at the drop of a hat anytime I seen happiness. And it was just like, I was actually happy for the people, but it was just that I longed to be around my family also. So it was just like, you know, seeing that I was just like, wow, you know, that's just crazy. And you know, that's, you know, this is such a beautiful commercial. And next, you know, I start boohooing or whatever. And it was just like, you know what, it's going to be okay because it's your first year going through everything. Everything is still kind of fresh to you. So it's normal to have, you know, uh, emotions like that. So it was just like, you know, if you've been, you know, uh, coming by and seeing my videos on a daily basis, you would know that there would be some days I will have four videos out. Sometimes I would do five or sometimes I would do two or three. But it was like I was going on overload because it was just like I felt so much, you know, chaos around me that, you know, I felt like, okay, the spirit guys asked me to say this. So I need to go ahead and put this out and I need to put that out. And it, it was just like so much because I, I feel like, you know, hey, I got to sit up here and do my part on the world because it's just like you can't even you know i was watching the news this morning and this 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 child's missing uh here and he's been missing since you know before christmas and it, it's just like sad just to, you can't even go you know across the room without hearing that either somebody's been kidnapped or they've been missing and it's just like around here the weather has been kind of cold and stuff like that so you know i don't want to think the the worst or whatever but it, it's just like it, it's it's a lot it's just a lot when it's just like sometimes you have to detach yourself away from things and it's just like how can some people do it it's just like when I was uh watching um mama four and she was talking about being an EMT 
And it was just like, and I noticed a lot of light workers and empaths, they, they work in the medical field to save lives and help contribute to things, you know, that not everybody can have the courage to do because it's just like, I worked at nursing homes where, you know, I help aid with, you know, senior citizens and I would take it too personal, like, because I wasn't really around my grandparents too much. So... Um, it's like either they had already passed or, you know, my grandmother, you know, that, um, my adopted grandmother, she was like, like about 18, 19 hours away. So we didn't really get the chance to see her as much. So it was like me doing that. It was just like me being, you know, getting that feeling to know what being around grandparents were. So when they would get hurt or whatever, I would take it very personal. Or, you know, if they would pass away, I would be really sad. So it was just like, I, like I told her, I give her so many props off of that because it, you know, you can have an exciting job, but then it can be scary because you never know what you're preparing yourself for. And it's just like with us being in the world. It's just like what we go through every day. It's a scary feeling. And it's like, that's why I'm talking about when you're utilizing your uniqueness. It's just like we are so, we're all is one, but we just got our own special characteristics about ourselves. And we shouldn't be able to stop doing what we need to do, express what we need to do, or how, how we feel about certain things that might be able to change the world. We shouldn't worry about what people think or what people might perceive of us or what they might say you know I, I I get crazy comments to me and insults all the time but it, it was just like you know what it, it becomes overwhelming at times but it's just like I'm not gonna stop doing what I need to do because that's what they want you to do especially when they see something that's so good and so important that you know I've been in the dark for so long and it's just like I'm just like I have a story that has to be told you know it's we go through a lot of things and it was just like I had to be that's one thing we have to do is just like when we're going through things and it is really hard to stay positive through all that stuff and I know that it is really hard to do that and but you have to be grateful for all those because all of them are lessons you know when you when you can actually you know, you might have lost a job or whatever, and it could have been just for you standing up for yourself, just because you told somebody they're not going to disrespect you and be like that. You have to be proud of that because there's so many people that are at jobs and they'll sit up here and let them just, just go through, you know, they would just let anybody talk to them any kind of way and they just would take it, you know, and it's just like you're nobody's doormat. You know, you have to put your own boundaries up and that, you know, and I had to learn to do that. And it's just like, don't, when you got, when you're going to go through things and when you're on your own mission, you're going to have naysayers. You're going to have people that are going to, you know, downplay your, you know, your dream or whatever like that. But don't allow them to stop you from doing what you need to do. You know, and I had to learn that. You can't allow somebody to stop you. You know, if you need to take a break, you take a break because of the things that you're going through. But don't take a break just because, you know, Sally or, you know, Eric or somebody like that. Now, God forgive me if there's somebody on here that's named that. So I apologize. I'm just using, you know, what names as an example. It's just like when people see that they're that you have a unique gift about yourself or you got this inner strength about you that you have gone through so much but you're able to bounce back like a boomerang don't allow somebody to stop you from doing that because it's just like i tell you guys i've been through so much been through so much but if you don't be hard on yourself if you need to go ahead and take a break a minute take a break you know we're all human <laughs> we stuck here on this daggone earth having to deal with all the crazy stuff but we're all human and it's just like, when I, I, I'll even keep it real with y'all. If I feel some type of way, and if it's not meant for me to present that to you, I'm not going to fake the funk and go ahead and do a video. I'm not. I'm not going to do that because it's just, I don't like to spread out negativity like that. Unless somebody's coming at me directly and, you know, getting trying to work my last nerve, that's when I'll do that. But then I'll say what I got to say and leave it alone. But... It's just when you're being an empath and you have to soak up all these things and you have to say these prayers. Like every day I light my candles and I say prayers because you never know. 
what you're going to come across, what emotions are going to come in. You know, especially if you meditate a lot, you're going to, your emotions are already going to be, it's just like when you take a shower, your pores are all open. So it's just like every chakra is all open. So you're going to be sensitive to a lot of stuff. So it's like as an empath, it doubles on top of that. So some people think, oh, this is a unique gift. Yes, it could be a blessing, but it can also be a curse at the same time. Because there's certain things that you don't want to know how people really feel about you. Because that can be really hurtful. But then it can be a tool that you can use to, you know, hey, you know, everybody got their opinion. Not everybody's not going to like you. But there's going to be some people that are going to love you too. And it's just so we get upset sometimes. Like, why did this person walk away out of our lives? Why did they do that? Because it's meant for people to go out of our lives so the best ones can come back in. And those are the right ones that will be there to stay. So it's just like when I was watching this video the other day and it was just like we get upset when things are not going as planned and things fall apart. And basically when they're falling apart like that, they're making room for better things to come together. So it's just like when we're going through things at times, just be grateful that you're going through it because it, it just gives you the strength to be able to say, you know what, okay, I've been through this before or I've been through worse of things. I, th this is a piece of cake compared to the things that I've been through before. So it's just like when I, I'm going through these things, like I was just mad a few minutes ago because I accidentally touched the button and didn't even realize I didn't stop recording. I'm just like... Oh, well, you know, I'm like, okay, don't even sweat about it. Don't, it, ain't, it, it you know, it's, it's spilled milk. So just go ahead. Now I'm actually glad I made the video over because I feel like, okay, this is how you need to go ahead and say this. But it, it's just like when we go through things like that, even you don't even have to be an empath. It's just like when you're stepping out into the world, it's, it's just like it can be a really scary thing, especially if you're dealing with anxiety and there's some people that can't even leave the house sometimes. And that has, you know, becomes challenges. It's just like, I'm just so grateful I'm not like that. You know, even though I'm an introvert and I've decided to stay in the house as much as I ha can possible if I'm not working. Um, that, you know, I like to stay in the house. But I've all, I guess I've always been closed in like that, especially after all this stuff that went on. But it's, it's just like, when, but when we have a soul mission and stuff like that I had to make sacrifices that I normally wouldn't have done before so it, it's just like when we you utilize your uniqueness and stuff like that and being on an empath or being a uh, indigo or you know a Hayoka empath or INFJs and there's some more new stuff that they, they have another acronym I need to go ahead and learn it. as soon as I find that one out I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all about that one too because I'm like god dog there goes another one so but it's just like when you when you're on your soul mission and you know you got something that you have a voice to say or a talent that you need to do to inspire somebody when anytime it could be you could be able to do a comic book or you able to do a magazine or something like that anything that brings joy to somebody's life and a smile on their face that is your sole purpose. That's your mission. You know, make the world a better place because some of us are so daggone grumpy. I'm like, who the heck peed in y'all's coffee this morning? Ugh. You know, and I feel that, you know, I'm just like, when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to have anything negative on my mind from yesterday. I want yesterday to be in yesterday. And just like, you know what, you just take the bull by the horns and go ahead and do what you need to do today. Don't worry about what happened yesterday. Just when you have these negative thoughts or whatever, don't fight them. Just, just you know, you recognize them and accept it for what it is. Even though it could be hurtful at times, just accept it for what it is. It's just like, you know, there's a lot of times that I will remember certain things that happened between me and my dad. And I used to really cry about it. And it's like, you know, he wants me to remember the time when, you know, the when I was born and he was with me for those few days and it was like when social services came in and it was like it was a scuffle a really bad scuffle where if he was probably holding me any tighter something would have probably broke and it was like you know it really used to get to me to him for him to remind me of that and it was like it's not about the pain that he went through but it was just the representation of how much he loved me so don't ever feel like I never he never loved me 
So it was just like it, it got it got to that point where it got emotional. But I can actually speak about it now and it's just like wow, you know, when we first talked, you know, I still get my my heart still lights up for that. So he it's just like when I get up to my points where things are not working out right and they seem like things are just not going my way. He reminds me of that. Like, don't ever give up. Don't, you know, you keep fighting this. You keep telling your story and it's going to get out. You're going to be heard. So, guys, I'm not going to ramble on. You know, I'm just glad to be back and I will be stopping by, you know, everybody's channel and showing my love. You know, I just had to regroup and get myself rejuvenated. So, I will talk to you guys later and much love, peace, and be wild. Thank you.